A tweeted photo went viral. Actor Woody Harrelson found his lookalike. <laughs> it turns out <laughs> she's nine months old. CNN's Jeannie Mose has a story of <laughs> unlikely doppelgangers. Say cheese. Actor Woody Harrelson and this baby look like they're cut from the same fromage. The baby's Irish mom, Danny Greer Mulvenna, tweeted, OK, but how does her daughter look like Woody Harrelson? Though she typoed his last name. It's the smile they share, taken from Woody's performance in Zombieland Double Tap. The internet agreed on the resemblance. She does. Enough for your husband to be looking at you funny. Okay, so Woody's definitely not the father, but that didn't stop him from chiming in with what he titled an ode to Cora. You're an adorable child, flattered to be compared. You have a wonderful smile. I just wish I had your hair. Come here, big fella. Just gonna take a little off the top. At least the zombie had something to take. Cora's mother was delighted to hear from Woody. You've made our day. Can't wait to show her this when she's older. You have another fan for life. Mom says she doesn't always look like Woody Harrelson with that typo again. It's just that when she does, she really, really does. Usually when smiling. Oh my God. Cora's mom told CNN that Woody's ode will definitely be on a birthday cake at some point. By then, she'll have even more hair. As Woody, playing his own twin, says... Seriously, is it weird to have more hair in your nose than on your head? Jeannie Mos, CNN, New York. <laughs> she really does look like him. Looks pretty good on the smile, for sure. Yeah. The missing teeth. Oh, so cute. He's a cutie. And That's wait till she goes to the prom and parents pull that. Look who we thought you looked like. So, oh, man. It'll live with her forever. Yes. <laughs> exactly. All right. We've got something really, really yummy today. Some fresh ceviche. Yes, Juan Pablo Cruz from El Jefe Baja Style is here. As you can see, he brought everything under the yes. sea. But you also have some signature micheladas. What makes these different? Yes, uh, we have a michelada here. The What makes it different on our michelada compared to everybody else, we are Japanese. Japanese peanuts to it and chaka chakas to be able to give it something to be able to set on the stomach after a good night of partying. <laughs> and that way you can keep partying, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> I wish right. I knew that guy in college. Okay, <laughs> from ceviche to charcuterie, and Anna Miller from Hebrew Charcuterie is here. And oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful. But Thank a lot you. of times I think, oh, I can do that. I'll yes. go to the store and buy all the meats and cheeses. You got a tip though, right? Right. So do not buy prepackaged meats and cheeses. You get a bigger bang for your buck at going to your local deli and requesting. Uh, specific amounts. Okay, and to make it look really pretty, that nice little salami rose and milk, she's gonna teach us how to do that. And if you're looking to maybe go for some healthy options, you know, we got a new business in town, Queen Bee Juicery, that brought us some samples, and what is the blue one there, Mike? That says sea moss on it, and yes, as the name implies, that is sea moss. Yes, and we're gonna try that. See what that tastes like. And then you got a great coffee place oh, to go to as well. Yes, we are gonna take you to Road Tip Coffee Trailer for a sample of their menu. They also have a back to school market happening this weekend. Speaking of back to school, what's your favorite part about back to school? Let us know, mm. that and a lot more coming up on SA Live. These days, back to school shopping involves more than just notebooks and number two pencils. A lot of parents are also trying to find the best computers for their students. But there's some good news. You don't have to spend a small fortune to find a quality device. Plus, some stores and companies offer student discounts. Right now on KSAT.com, 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz takes a look at the computers that get the highest marks and how you can get them for the best prices. All right, it's 91 degrees outside, 99 this afternoon. Small chance for shower, otherwise a little better chance tomorrow evening. Our best chance though Thursday and Friday with some isolated showers and storms. Temperatures a little cooler, and that small chance lingers over into Saturday before things dry up, guys. Thank you, Justin. A lot for a lot on SA Live. You found something you're interested in. The micheladas. Always yeah, a good see? time. It's never too early for a michelada. <laughs> is it? Well, it's it's, it is afternoon. It's so we're good. SA Live starts right now. My dad always says, son's past the yard arm somewhere, Alicia. <laughs> Today <laughs> on SA Live, we make roses out of charcuterie and how you can learn how to do that as well.
Full spirit and full swing, the Judson High School Diamonds dance team perform for us today ahead of the KSAP Thick Skin Classic. And we're making a really healthy choice and checking out a new juicery in San Antonio and see what all the buzz is about. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. We're the Judson Diamonds. And you're watching SA Live. Yes, that was the Judson High School Diamonds uh, varsity dance team. Yes, they aren't they awesome? We're we gonna were get watching a preview of that. some of the video you're going to be seeing here in a yes. minute, and between that and talking about Pixing Classic and yep. back to school All and everything, I mean, it's just it's a really exciting time of year. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. I'm Mike Osterhage, and I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. Fiona will return next week. By the way, if you're wondering. Uh, yes, all right, now it's on to some seafood. Yep. Oh, yes, indeed. Seafood is popular for those hot summer days, and you can literally, literally call our first guest today the boss of Baja style seafood. And the boss himself, I guess we should call him El Jefe since that's the name of the place. <laughs> Juan Pablo Cruz, owner of El Jefe Baja style, is here. And like Jen said, is there anything left under the water? Because you got it pretty much all right here. So oh, I think I brought it all. <laughs> Just Looks about. Like it. Okay, Baja style ceviche. Baja style ceviche, basically what it represents is the Baja Peninsula of Baja California, which is Tijuana, Ensenada, Rosarito, all the way to Cabo San Lucas. Okay. Honestly. And that's where you're from. Yes, is... Tijuana. Okay. Yes. So what are we starting with today? So we're starting basically with a cooked shrimp and crab ceviche right now. Um, we're going to add some salt and pepper to it. Real simple to make. The shrimp is already pre-cooked also too, so we add some salt, a little bit more salt. Oh, okay, a little bit more. And yeah. I love that you're bringing the Baja And style. then we're gonna give it about four to five twists on the pepper, so we make mm -hmm. sure we have enough pepper throughout the bowl. Now, a lot of times ceviche is uh, usually raw and then it cooks in the, the juices. Why is this cooked? Yeah, already? this one's pre cooked already. There's some people that are very skeptical. Okay. Lime. Oh, okay. uh, let's add the lime Sorry. first. Make sure that we flood it with the lime. Keep on pouring, squeeze it real hard. Okay. I'll let you know when to stop. The, re the reason why this one is cooked, some people are kind of skeptical about eating raw shrimp. They feel that it's raw, but they don't understand the full understanding that it's been cured already in the citrus to be able to kill all the bacteria on it. So those people that are a little bit uncomfortable with the raw one, we'll give them something like this. Okay. So right after we added that, we can add the onions and cilantro to it. And the whole point about ceviche too is freshness, freshness, and yes. more freshness, right? Yes, exactly. So we'll add the tomato right after mm. also too while he's stirring it. And well, you mentioned I, freshness because that's how it was, right? When yes, you're in Tijuana? The, the freshness, exactly. Here in Tijuana, where the way that I was taught, basically, we make everything in the moment that they ask for it. We don't believe in pre-making it ahead of time because our vegetables start breaking down, the citrus on it starts breaking the cucumber, the onion, and the tomato. No one wants a soggy ceviche. And then, simple as that. As simple as that, that's it. And we'll this build is, some this of is these tostadas. Cool. So now we have some tostadas here. We can basically you, scoop, scoop them on top. So what we can do is, uh, if we can dump this inside to that big bowl oh. right there. Oh, okay. Into this one? Got. Yes, into that bowl. Oh, I was so just gonna, like, here, I'll grab it for you. I was just gonna do it like this. Here we go. So. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just dump it all in there. Oh, nice. And that's Super enough to fresh. feed a small army and or <laughs> a couple of people if you really like your uh, your ceviche. So we'll build our tostadas yes, and tell me what go. else you brought here. So basically these other ones that I brought to you here, this is a raw shrimp with octopus and then I brought you some fresh oysters from Baja California and then mm. I brought you some aguachile negro which is one of my very popular tostadas and then I got a shrimp cocktail right next to that and our famous michelada right after that to be able to wash mm. it all down. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. a handful of ingredients, so simple, mm, excuse me, but it's so good. Delicious. Yes. Thank With you. That. Thank and you. then this sauce, yes. um, you said that's one of the most popular, Yes, right? that's my black sauce. That's one of my very popular. I've actually had people offer me a nice chunk of money to be able to sell them the recipe, and I still won't sell it. I think what, Mike tried to get it from you, too. Yes, <laughs> he did. What's, what's the trick to the, uh, the sauce? And it's got uh, so a little this, bit of a kick to it, too. So this sauce has a combination of different chilies inside of it and a couple other ingredients, and that's as far as I go with my recipe on my sauce. That's it. That's all we're getting, right? I know you I'm get the sauce. citrusy flavor, first of all. Yes. And then all of a sudden it's like So you get wham. a citrusy and then you get a little nice salt and pepper flavor and then right after that mm. we get the rush of the heat right after okay. that. I feel that. 
That's he's amazing. describing it as I'm getting these different flavors. Yes, yeah, so the, good. And then to wash it down, the michelada, right? So we wash it down, we'll end up having a michelada. So we'll add a little bit of cucumbers to this cup right here. And then we'll add some ice, obviously, to cool it all down. So we're adding some ice. And then what separates us from everybody else, we're gonna add some Ooh. Japanese uh, peanuts with some chaka chakas on it. And why the peanuts in there? The peanuts, basically the peanuts, what it helps out is, let's just say you had a long night drinking all night, the next morning you're trying to eat something but the stomach is not really too happy with it. <laughs> so we drop some Japanese peanuts and start selling it down to party again. Start all over again. Yes. Sounds like the right? voice oh. of experience, yep. I was saying, right? <laughs> anyway. No, that's okay. So, and, where, and where are you located? So we are located at 1221 Broadway Street, right outside Puerto Rosa Bar. So that's where our location is at, and you can okay. find us there Wednesday through Sunday. We start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday through Friday. Saturdays and Sundays, we actually open up at 1 in the afternoon. Yum. All right, that it looks delicious. delicious. We'll mm. save one for Alicia. She was commenting how great those look. All right, for more information you can, on El Jefe Baja Style, you can head over to salive.com and click the Ask Seen on SA Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen. Thank you so much. Oh, oh thank you guys. We've got something for the commercial bike. Meet you lot over there. So, <laughs> all right, back to school. Uh, a couple of schools already. Back to school yesterday, mm -hmm. more today, and Already. throughout the next couple of weeks, we've got the Pigskin Classic coming up on the so 27th, things. three of the best games in town to kick off the season, mm -hmm. and we've got dancers on the show today. What's your most exciting part about back to school? Yes, about going back. For me, it's getting back into the routine because it forces me to get more organized again and kind of get us back in the craziness of summer, right? You recover mm -hmm. from that. And, uh, and the kids are excited. Yeah. New teachers, all the things. What about you? That's, uh, that was always the best part about it, you know, and, yes. and school supplies and, and seeing your friends again yes. that you haven't seen. Taking and, the pictures. Yeah, yes. find, find a new teacher. So yes. we want to know, too, and also send in pictures. And this is going to be yes. now going on through pretty much the rest of August. We want to see all your back-to-school pictures, all the great things. Yes. If you have some old uh, school pictures of yourself mm -hmm. and some of your favorite moments, but let us know about yes. that. And, yeah, lots of pictures of the cute little smiling faces. We want to share those. We might see him later in the show. All right. All right. Well, from summer eats to cooling off with some really good summer drinks. And, of course, a young lady named Java Jen <laughs> is at it again. Yes. I uh, went out to Rose Hip Coffee Trailer to get a sample of their delicious Java drinks. And they have some great baked goods as well. Take a look. Rose Hip Coffee is one of the newest coffee trailers in town and they're all about the delicious coffee but also the made from scratch delicious desserts. We're going to meet the owner and sample the coffee. And I'm now joined by the owner Katie here at your awesome coffee trailer. This is a dream for you. Tell me all about it. Yes, so I've always known that I wanted to go into the food business. I grew up baking with my mom and that was always a passion of mine. And so growing up, I knew I wanted to have a bakery. And as I got older and kind of figured out, you know, what are the costs involved of doing <laughs> all of that? I figured that a great first start would be opening a coffee trailer where I get to do coffee and I also get to do baking as well. Rose Hip Coffee is located a few blocks north of the McNay Art Museum near Katie's old neighborhood. It turns out the church parking lot is in the process of making this area into a community park. So the logo is actually a picture of one of my grandmas from back in the 50s. And so her wow. name was Rosa. And so I knew I had to have something Rose inspired as the name. And there's a book, Esperanza Rising, and in it, the abuela, she always makes tea out of rose hips. Oh. And she said, when you drink that tea, you can see all of the beauty that the flower ever saw. And so oh. that's what I wanted through this. Bumps, yes. I wanted this to be a place <laughs> the community could come together, they could share a cup of coffee, and they could just celebrate the beautiful parts of life together. Oh, I love the inspiration behind the coffee and the baked goods, which we are about to sample now. So you're going to make three drinks for us. Yes. And of course, we're going to have to try these pastries, the baked goods. <laughs> all right. First drink we're gonna make is the vanilla cinnamon latte. And so I make all of my own syrups, all made with different um, healing botanicals and also all organic. So the vanilla cinnamon is definitely one of the most popular. And as it gets hotter outside, it's wonderful to drink it iced. So put in the espresso in and some of the syrup. We get some milk. 
top it off with ice. Put the top down, give it a little shake and it's done. The next one we're gonna do is the honey saffron latte. And so this one I think is really special. It has definitely a unique flavor to it. And it's something that you're probably not gonna find at a lot of other places. And it, I like it hot better than cold actually, because it just feels like a warm hug. For this one, since we're doing hot, we're gonna steam the milk. All right, so the next drink that we're gonna make is a lavender sage. And so this is another one of our really popular drinks. And we're gonna do this one iced. And this one has a very big floral punch. So while you're drinking it, even when you kind of add the espresso, you start to smell the lavender. All right, we saw the coffee drinks, and now it's time to check out the desserts. Hello. Yes, hello. So I've heard you love lavender, so yes. we've got the lavender sage latte for you. Thank you. Of Yum. Course. My favorite. And speaking of lavender, let's talk about these delicious desserts here, because I think this one yes. has some lavender in it. It does. So love biscuits. So this biscuit over here is a lavender lemon. Lavender lemon. And then we've got a cheddar black pepper biscuit and then a vanilla bean orange cardamom biscuit as well. Oh my well. goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah. And then, uh, well, I'm gonna try this, don't yes. mind me. Uh, let's talk about what we have over here. Of course, so over here, we have got a strawberry corn cookie, and it is filled with blackberry preserves and lime buttercream. Mm. And sounds then, amazing. Yes, <laughs> and then over here, we've got a coconut guava bun. So it's kind of the same dough as a cinnamon roll, mm -hmm. but it's filled with cream cheese filling with guava and coconut. Are you gonna dig in with me now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we're gonna need some more okay, help yes, with that. We need some help. Thank you. Yes. Lots of people here. All right, again, salive.com. For more information, just head over to click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or you can scan the QR code right there on your screen. I'm going in. I'm going in for the biscuit, because, you know, I love lavender. Oh, look at Somehow, wow. it magically appeared here, too, thanks to our producer, John. But we, yeah, we have a sample of some of the goodies. These fresh baked She goods. makes all of these. Yeah, so this is the hippie bar, mm -hmm. banana nut bread, uh, blueberry olive oil, pound cake, and then the breakfast sandwich. You're going for the blueberry. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go for the hippie bar. By the way, they have a back-to-school market there this Saturday. So you can oh, wow. check that, right? I know. I love pound cake and with that olive oil in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's oh my goodness, amazing. that's good. So mm. please go check her out. And uh, it's from 9 to 1 p.m. Vendors, coffee, food, crafters, and more. Right? That's really oh, tasty. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, when I say live continues, more fresh food. We're going to talk to a local charcuterie, making charcuterie, and talking to a local juice bar as well. Oh, yeah, we will be enjoying those charcuterie boards. Also, Queen Bee Juicery is here, and we are going to get a sample of their delicious juices and maybe try some of that sea moss gel. Stay with us. This is our producer's writing here. This was a Gouda idea. You could even <laughs> say it was a sharp idea. How to enhance your charcuterie with a salami decoration. Mike, quit being cheesy. <laughs> okay, Otto Miller, owner and creator of Key Road. Good job, <laughs> Charcuterie is here with lots of grazing. Op We're having a good time, right? Lots of grazing options today. Let's get to churning on this segment before <laughs> this cheese ages any <laughs> further. Yes, all the puns. Welcome, on. Please say it, Anna. No, I love cheese puns. <laughs> See, I know I like to. Being in the charcuterie <laughs> business, she does. So what's the key to making a beautiful charcuterie so board? So I feel like the key to making a, your own charcuterie board is picking a meat and a cheese that you like and mm -hmm. make that the center of your board. And then, um, you know, pair it with um, things that pair well with it. In, by picking a specific cheese and a specific meat, then you can pick a specific wine to pair okay. well with yeah. it. And then maybe do some other little cheeses and meats to yeah. sort of complement yeah, that, exactly. if you will. So, and then putting it all together, that's nine tenths of the battle, I think. And then doing the rows in the middle. How do you do that? Oh, we're going to learn. Yay. Okay. Okay. Where do we start? Okay. Cheese for so, here, so we're going to do the, the champagne flute um, 
method that okay. became it actually became viral in like 2020 um, so we're gonna show it here this method you can really do with any cup that has a small um, you know small rim um, so I like to use shot glasses so I'll start it off for you and then you can finish it um, so you're gonna start off folding your salami over like so okay. mm -hmm. and then the second slice you overlay it about halfway and then you just keep going around and around okay. until you're finished with all your slices or it's stuff or your cup them, becomes very full stuff them down in there yep so so keep on layering yep yours is going too far down <laughs> oh whoops <laughs> okay. it's about halfway um and so with this you, you just want to fill it like enough and then um you and don't want to use mm -hmm. yeah you keep going so you don't want to use a wider cup because then it looks very sloppy and you also need a lot of meat to cover a bigger cup yeah. than that. Um, so you really want to stick with a smaller cup. I also like to use shot glasses for these. I heard you say that part. Okay, yeah. we all have those. Spe I think. Speaking <laughs> of, of smaller little bites over there, I love the little charcuterie cups you have right there. Yeah, so we make these for, um, you know, people have ordered them for formal events like um, engagement parties or bridal showers. Um, and then we also have these smaller cups that are more practical for outdoor events, like, you know, like a sporting event, um, mm -hmm. things like that. So this one has a one meat, one cheese. This one always comes with uh, one meat and two cheeses and of course more fruit. Um, so, you know, this is more formal, this is a little less formal and of course our boards. And, for and you said that's perfect for, you know, go to the soccer game or something like that with your yeah. kids, a football game, take your own little, uh, little yeah. snacks of charcuterie exactly. with you there. So. And it's better than a stale hot dog. <laughs> right. uh, that's true. Yeah, the mom right. that shows up with those and is then, popular mom. And then exactly. we just flip it over? And then you just flip it over onto your little board there. Is this okay or do I need? No, you're good. That? That's perfect. Oh! Yeah, there you go. Ah, Why I got, am I nervous? Okay. That one's okay. kind of out of place, on. but okay. <gasps> oh. Look at that. It needs like a little theme. Okay. I'll be oh. darn. Uh, my mind is blown <laughs> right now. And you teach this. You have a workshop. Yes. So I have a oh. workshop wow. coming up um, August 19th. The uh, link to that is actually um, charcuterieworkshop.as.me. It um, looks too good to eat. I, yep. I you can also you find the link on our social media. I'll just do it like um, this. And if you want to order, you said maybe two days advance two notice days and advance. that's it. Yes, unless it's like, you know, a large, large order. But uh, normally a board two days in advance is good. And your favorite is the sharp white cheddar, correct? Yes, yeah, I'm gonna the grab Kerry Gold white my cheddar meat. is my favorite. Okay. Great little stay in <laughs> date night. Mm -hmm. No yes. bottle of wine and the charcuterie. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely mm -hmm. delicious. Exactly. Mm. Thank you so very much, no, Anna. Thank you, guys. And for more on Hebrew charcuterie, <laughs> head over to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We provide a link or just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. All right. High school football has begun. Kids are already practicing. And the routines for halftime, the Judson Diamond Varsity Dance Team gives us a preview of their performance next this upcoming season. Plus, fall is just around the corner. Get your glasses and contacts ahead of the new season with a simple procedure. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, the school year will be here sooner than you think. I can't believe it. This summer is going so fast, okay? And you don't want to miss out on seeing your kid in all those sports games and performances. And that's where Manrique Custom Vision comes in. They have the latest FDA approved technology on the market to help you see clearly without glasses or contacts. And here to tell us about their big savings today is Director of Operations, Richard Doinoff. Welcome, welcome. Hey, how are you? All right, so for for folks who don't know, what is the difference between LASIK and Z-LASIK? Uh, Z-LASIK, in Dr. Manrique's opinion, is the least invasive. It's uh, totally blade and pain-free. Mm -hmm. It just takes a few seconds per eye, and the main thing is it's custom designed for each eye, so it just takes your prescription completely away. So no need for glasses, contacts anymore, which is incredibly convenient and like just a complete lifestyle changer, okay? So you mentioned the procedure takes just a few seconds each eye. For those who are kind of worried, does it hurt? Is it really painless? 
Yeah, it's painless. I had, Doc did mine, I, I turned pretty old the other day, but he did mine like 20 some years ago with the blade. And it didn't, it didn't hurt whatsoever. This new technology that he uses, I've never had any complaints about anything whatsoever. And recovery time? I mean, you know, so when it's over, what? Walk us through that. Uh, most people wake, get up off of the laser and they actually can see us taking our picture like 30 foot away. And you look on our Facebook page, Doc will hold his watch out and they're looking across and they, they on Honestly, can't believe it. You take a nap for four to five hours, you wake up, and it's like a night and day change. And Dr. Manrique has done tens of thousands of these procedures, right? Right, right over 65,000 laser vision corrections right now. Wow, and yeah. counting, and yeah. counting, and you have big savings for folks watching right now, right? We love helping all your viewers. We, mm -hmm. we get, like I was plugging those girls the other day, but we get $1,500 off to people that will give us a call. You can text LASIK to four five three eight four and we'd be more than glad to help you get out of those glass of contacts and so tell us a little bit more about the reaction from folks after getting this done it normally I mean seriously like 80% of the time people always just come up to me and say I, I don't know why I waited I mean so they're ecstatic the people with the super big prescriptions the ones you see the coke, coke bottles on most of them are crying because they couldn't see past here okay. and now they're already seeing like that gentleman over there on his phone immediately I mean it's it is it's amazing I remember it like yesterday and so folks wondering about financing Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We have up to 36 months interest free. Uh, there's still time for teachers and everybody to get in and use their medical spending account and flexible spending accounts. Uh, we usually have financing to fit every budget. All right. Okay. And so the first 10 people to call will get up to $1,500 off their bilateral Z LASIK procedure. All you have to do is call 210-354-2020. That's 210-354-2020 or just text LASIK to 4538 for an instant discount. You can also just scan that QR code on your screen. For more information on Manrique Custom Vision, all you gotta do, visit that website you see right there, sa.manriquei.com. Richard, thank you so much. Great seeing you again. Coming up, it's an unbelievable new spot in town where you can get fresh cold pressed juices and local products. Plus, let's get fired up. The Jetson High School Diamonds Varsity Dance Team is ready to perform for you. We get a preview of their KSAP Pigskin Classic Halftime Show performance. That's next. Welcome back to SA Live. One dance team you can see on the field during the KSAT Pigskin Classic is the Judson High School Diamonds Varsity Dance Team. They have a special preview routine for us. Take it away.
so exciting. Joining me now to talk about this fabulous team is Allison Moreno, the head dance director at Judson High School. So good to have you guys here today. Thanks for now, having us. Let's talk about this performance here. Yes, this is one that you just started working on, correct? Yes, ma'am. We literally learned it on Monday. Oh, yes, wow. absolutely. They put it together in about 30 minutes every single day. We got to work on it for y'all, and we're very happy that you had us. So thank you so very much. A very talented group here. Let's talk about the titles that they have won so far, or I guess last year, right? In years yes. past, yes. Yes, ma'am. So we actually, thank, thank goodness, COVID opened up, and we were able to go to competitions last year. Clean sweeps every time we went. First place, first place, first place. There's nothing we did not. Wow. Um, play second in, so they did very good, and I'm very proud oh, of them. Wow, amazing. I'm very impressed. Now, some new uniforms I hear? Yes, ma'am, yes. they did. You can see they got some new Beautiful. swagger. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely, we usually have a, a little bit more traditional uniform, but this, this year we get to add some tassels, which they're super excited about. And how does it work with tryouts and anyone, I guess, even for those maybe new to the Jetson district, if they're interested? Yes, ma'am, so we actually have a Dazzler's Pep Squad, which is a prerequisite. You have to be on Dazzler's before you can trial for diamonds mm -hmm. and it's a great year-long class that you sign up for at Judson High School. All right and how excited are you guys for the KSAT Pigskin Classic coming up because we are very excited. <laughs> oh my gosh I we are so excited to be there in the Alamo Dome and thank you so much for having us it's just going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. All right and what should we look out for as far as that performance? That performance we are actually doing a streamer jazz so no high Ooh. kicks that day we're going to be jump split and kicking our face but with a jazz routine. And where can people find more information on the dance team? You can follow us on Instagram or Facebook. We are at Judson Dance. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. And for more information on Judson High School Diamonds Varsity Dance Team, head over to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or scan the QR code on your screen. Thank you so much. Thank you. And don't miss the KSAT Pigskin Classic brought to you by San Antonio area Chevy dealers. We're kicking off the season with three high school football games on August 27th at the Alamo Dome. Plus, Fiona, Mike, and myself will be there bringing you all three halftime shows. Join us at the Dome online or on KSAT 12 on August 27th. Tickets are available at all Las Palapas locations. All right, coming up next, Queen Bee Juicery is here. They've got a great selection of cold pressed juices and sea moss gel. Ever tried this? Hmm. That's coming up after the break. live. The queen has arrived in town. We're not talking Beyonce or Elizabeth. <laughs> no, Amanda Carey and Michael Carey, co-owners of Queen Bee Juicery, join us now to talk about their new business, or should we say Queen Bee and Worker Bee, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I Always. love the name, I'm, by the way. I'm very juicy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so all of these fresh and cold pressed juices, yes. what does cold press mean? So cold press, uh, we have a cold press machine. Um, we Put the vegetables down the chute and it grinds everything up and it falls into a hydraulic press so there's no heat involved which so, would take out vitamins which would take stuff, out right? nutrients right okay. so um yeah it, it's a hydraulic press and presses out all the juice out of fruits and vegetables 100 percent um, juice no added water or sugar and we're making a little concoction here yes. today yes. right yes okay should we do that now sure if you, you want to so, so mm -hmm. what's the benefit of doing Apple, all, the, all these and juices celery. and everything so it's a really oh, good way oh, to get oh, a fast, streamlined source of nutrition. You know, the, we, we really try to promote just living more healthy. And this is a great way to get a concentrated form of nutrients. So like that bottle of the like primarily carrot juice, how many carrots would that, that be equivalent to? Uh, Probably a bucket or so. I mean, oh, seriously? It's, yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, so you'd be sitting there all day eating carrots like to get maybe half of it. Yeah, what so you get out of that we, we didn't bring our machine because right. it, it weighs, weighs 140 pounds. pounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, so it, it shreds everything up and we extract the juice and blend it together. A little bit more? Okay. It smells and amazing. <laughs> we have various flavors, yeah. And okay. so this one is called Love Elixir. It's by far our best seller. Mm -hmm. That one right there? Okay. Great. And it's this is apple, the combination. Beets, carrots, and celery. Okay. And the, and the neat thing about it, too, I don't know if you can see the label right on there. It has the name of it, Carrot Top, and then all the different ingredients. Every label is almost the same, and they just kind of circle what's in there. So we've got some pineapple, some carrots, 
and some other little goodies in there, a little bit I'm of lemon juice. Give you so. a sample. Okay. And you started this business during the pandemic. Yes. Um, so let's talk about that. And then you started selling people, and then here it is. Right. Now. I started to make some juice for some friends of mine and family who um, got the uh, virus. And then it just uh, started spreading around all around town, and everyone started um, asking me to make them juice mm. uh, because they couldn't eat or keep anything down. So. And this and was a way to um, boost your immune system and to get as many vitamins and nutrients to fight the virus. Plus, given the fact that it's made from a lot of uh, all local produce, right? Almost like eating honey locally, you get all that pollen, you get all the, the nutrients from around you, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. So lots of these? benefits, but we were going to try these ginger shots. Yes, Tell me about what's shots. in here. So there's ginger, <laughs> turmeric, pineapple, and lemon. So turmeric is really good for inflammation in the body. Cheers. Uh, ginger as well is good for local allergies. It's good for headaches, and it'll also help you if you have nausea or stomach issues. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. That's got. A, that's got. A, it's got a bite. Yeah, it's got a, it nice, it's a nice kick to it. Right. So you just right. Take it down. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. And a few now others. the one thing mm -hmm. that we tried oh, yes, that I tried yes. during the break <laughs> was the sea moss. What exactly is sea moss? Just, it's, an, it's an actual moss from the ocean okay. that is uh, that is blended up and fused with fruit. What does it do for you? <laughs> A long list of benefits. So, so it has 92 vitamins and minerals out of the 102 our body needs to function. It helps uh, eliminate mucus from the body. It helps with thyroid health to balance out the thyroid, lower the blood pressure. Um, it gives it boosts wow. immunity. And also gives you um, energy because of all of the vitamins and minerals that are in it. Okay, it's pretty good. Where did folks find all this? Where, where did... So we're located at 13469 Wetmore Road, and we make juice fresh every day and sea moss pickles. fresh every day. Mm -hmm. We also make pickles, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pickled awesome. vegetables, and then we also make um, all natural dog treats. Uh, my daughter, Samantha, um, that's her business. Um, she went ahead and took the byproduct from juicing and made um, dog treats out of it. Added peanut butter and oatmeal, and so she's got a lot of satisfied customers. Wow. Well, if you would like more information about Queen Bee Juicery, and by the way, I got to throw this in there. These two are in a Rush tribute band. He's We've been the drummer. On I'm very yes, jealous of yes. him. So. <laughs> you'll get five dollars off a uh, purchase of fifty dollars or more if you mention SA Live. We don't want to forget that as well. So favorite Rush song? Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been singing Rush all day. More information, Queen Bee Juicer, head over to SALive.com, click on the Ask on SA Live tab, provide a link or just scan that QR code. Come on, let's sing it. All right. It's Next will fly by night away from here operation. Community First Health Plans is helping to get kids back to school ready and safe. More details just ahead. It feels like summer just started, but the school year is already barreling towards us. And now is the time to make sure students are back to school ready and safe. Joining us now from the only locally managed health plan is Brennan Loy, marketing rep with Community First Health Plans. Welcome. Thanks for having me. So what does it mean to be back to school ready? So yes, I know that we just wrapped up the school year, but uh, as parents, we always wanna be looking ahead to what's coming next. So before the next school year begins, students not only need their backpacks, notebooks, their pencils, all the school supplies, but they also need to get their wellness checkups and their immunizations done with their doctors. Very important. Now, how can Medicaid help kids get back to school ready? So Medicaid covers many preventative services that can ensure that your kids are ready to go back to school. And that includes immunizations, wellness checkups, dental exams, eye exams, glasses if they're needed, and many other preventative services too. And who qualifies for Medicaid or CHIP coverage? Families and children, pregnant women, the elderly, and people with disabilities can all qualify for no cost or low cost Medicaid and CHIP coverage. And this is all based on household size and income. Good to know. And how can families apply for Medicaid? So they can apply any time of year and they can do so by heading to yourtexasbenefits.com and filling out an application. Or they can also call 211 and speak to a representative and they can help them with the application. Community First Health Plans also offers our Avenida Guadalupe community office. And there we offer in-person assistance for any questions about healthcare coverage, local community resources, and more. Feel free to stop by Monday through Friday, 8.30 to five o'clock. We'd be happy to help with any questions about Medicaid. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> if, if a family is already enrolled in Medicaid or CHIP, do they need to take any action now? Yes, they do. So when the 
COVID-19 public health emergency comes to an end, which is coming up in October, uh, benefits will stop being automatically renewed. So if your child is already enrolled in Medicaid or CHIP, you will need to renew coverage every year. So that way you can ensure that they are covered and can access healthcare when it's necessary. And um, for any questions, or if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to renew, you can visit renewmytexasbenefits.com. Any other tips that we should know as we get ready to head back to class? <laughs> so we are all over the city. You can head to our website, communityfirsthealthplans.com. We have all of our events listed there. There's tons of backpack drives, school supply drives happening. You can stop by, get some information, get some school supplies, get ready for back to school. Thank you so much, Brennan. For more information on Community First Health Plans, just give them a call, 210-227-2347, or visit the website, communityfirsthealthplans.com. Brennan, thank you. Thank you. Come on, I say live, let's get toasted. Yep, National S'mores Day. We've got a recipe for s'mores. Ooh, s'more stuffed French toast. Wow. And if that sounds good, there's s'more where that came from. <laughs> Plus, more kids are heading back to school. We chat with some local high school schoolers and hear what they say about the upcoming school year. That's tomorrow, 1 o'clock, right here on SA Live. All right, we ask you to share these photos, Jacobsons. Big welcome shout out to all Harlandale bus drivers. Terry and, oops, got cut off there. But yeah, so we wanted to know, what's your favorite thing about heading back to school? Share those photos, like Jacob just did. Maybe, oh, see, I like that one on the screen there. But those are always cute to see. Also to look back on, because from the beginning of the school yep. year to the end, big changes. Those are always great. And we're going to be asking this to send in pictures every day this month. So send them on in. We'll see you tomorrow.